Hey, hey YouTube. So, um, I, I just had to come to you guys. Um, honestly, God just told me to do it and to do it now. So, um, I had to just sit down, write out some points for you guys and be obedient. So here I am, um, in my closet, as you see, um, coming to you. Not live, but um, coming to you with a quick, hopefully brief message, but a message that's really good, really powerful. Um, before I start, I'm going to pray and then I'm going to go through my points. Um, I might read one or two passages from this book, short passages, um, and then then we'll, I'll close. But um, I just, y'all, when God tells you to do something, you have to do it, you know? So even if it means you got to pause everything, I'm cooking some little desserts for my job, but um, I had to pause and um, do this. So let's go ahead and get into it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for this time just before your people, Father. I thank you, Lord God, for just allowing this platform um, to be available, God. I pray, God, that the words spoken will fall on good fertile ground and that you'll open up the ears, the understanding of your people, that they will be able to get something, God, something to empower them, encourage them to maybe clarify something for them. Lord, bless this word. Bless this word spoken. May you lead every word spoken in Jesus name. Amen. So today, um, God just gave me um, some really, a really cool topic. Um, just a few small little points. Um, God can take anything, y'all, and make it so valuable. He can take anything and just really give you a life lesson using something you would think maybe is pointless. God is so amazing, y'all. He's so amazing. So today is July 8th, um, 2018. Um, I finished this, writing all this up at 5.17 p.m. And I'm just going to kind of read it out to you and... Um, read it out to you and then kind of expound on it a little bit and then yeah that'll be it so the topic is it takes one to make one and what gave gave me that is the old saying as a kid like if someone's trying to talk about you uh, like call you silly or stupid oh you stupid they say oh it takes one to know one or you this it takes one to know one and so <laughs> that was kind of like a little combat you know as that we would use as kids so, um, the, the name of the, 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 the name of this message is it takes one to make one. It takes one to make one. And that's based off of Genesis 1, 11. And I'm going to read that to you guys. I wasn't as prepared as I needed to be, but that's okay. I'm going to, um, get my Bible. That's the good thing about loving Jesus so much. I have Bibles everywhere. <laughs> So, um, cause I was using the Bible on my phone, but I'm recording this with my phone. So, uh, I can't use it. Right. But Genesis one, and it's the first book of the Bible, the first chapter. So, you know, that's super easy, right? Thank you, Lord. So Genesis one 11, and it says, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind whose seed is in itself, that's the key part, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth, and it was so. So this is like King James Version. Um, actually, yeah, King James Version. So just, everything I'm talking about is based off of Genesis 1, 11. So um, I'm trying to get this. So let me read some of my notes. And like I said, I'll just kind of talk about it a little bit. So point one, it takes true, real, authentic believers in Christ Jesus to make more true, real, authentic believers in Christ Jesus. I know that sounds real simple, right? And Jesus is simple, y'all. We have made this thing so complicated. Yeah, as you get older in Christ and deeper, things will get a little deeper. But really, the basics are real simple, you know. It takes true, real, authentic believers in Christ Jesus to make more true, real, authentic believers in Christ Jesus. 
Um, Y'all, people are looking for real folks who really love God, who are really sold out. Because they looking for people, uh, as the kids taught me, who about that life. <laughs> that's that's what this kid in the neighborhood was telling me. He was talking about all these gangsters, these rappers, and, you know, I think 6 9 he ain't really about that life. And then this rapper over here, he he about that life. He did about that life. And uh, some of them, done, they done died because they so about that life, you know. Um, Lord, help them, you know. Help them, the ones who are still alive. Um, help them. But be about that life, y'all. Y'all. And I'm talking to myself first, y'all. Before I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself. We really, as children of God, have got to be about that life. We have got to let that really be who we are. When we at church, when we at the mall, when we doing whatever we're doing. No, don't be an uptight Christian who, who don't do, you know, who, who can't be normal, you know. But really be, be saved. You saved, you love God, then that should never go on the shelf. You know, be saved, love God, and live that thing full out, you know. So real Christians make more real Christians. And people are looking for authenticity. People are drawn to things that are real. That's why um, I, my cousin was just in town. Um, he just left today, but he loves Tupac. He loves Tupac. And the reason he loves Tupac is because he grew up in that time when Tupac was the hotness, you know. Um, but because Tupac was really, really about what he said. Like, it, if if he wasn't, he had all of us believers. We were all believers. And I like Tupac too, y'all. I'm going to just tell you. But I can't really listen to a lot of that kind of stuff. But, you know, I can listen to Dear Mama or something like that. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I digress but oh my god but what I want to say is people are drawn to the realness people are drawn to authenticity people are drawn to folks who who say something and they back it up with their actions you know if you say you love me you're not just saying that your actions are you putting your money where your mouth is. Your your actions are backing up everything you're saying. God doesn't just say he loves us. He backs it up. He does, y'all. He does. I'm done with that point, y'all, because I could go on, but I'm not. So point number two. What is in you will come out. An apple tree cannot become an orange tree. What is in you will come out. An apple tree cannot become an orange tree. Y'all, I am, I am Brittany Monique Allen. I'm a beautiful woman of God, and that's who I am. Even when I wasn't acting like that, and I had a little a, a, poor, a, a time where I was kind of acting out of character and not acting like the woman that God has created me to be, it was still in me. So it wasn't going nowhere. You know, so what is really, really, really in you is what comes out of you. The seed of God was planted in my heart before I was alive. The seed of God was planted in my heart when I was in my mother's womb. You know, the seed of God was planted there, y'all. So I had no choice. You know, I was going to be this woman that I am today. It, it, it is what God put in me. And honestly, you got to be who God made you to be, you know, um, so I, I hope that's pretty clear. Um, for he that has an ear to hear, let him hear. Um, you might put tattoos all over your body. You might go out here and act a daggone fool. You might be gang banging and even shooting people and doing all kind of foolishness. But if the seed of Christ Jesus is in your heart, it's going to come out, even if it comes out while you're in prison. And I'm not laughing because that's not funny, you know, but... The, it's kind of ironic, right? You get you you become that in prison, locked up, you know. But it happens. It happens. You know, if the seed of God is in you, it's going to come out. Sometimes the seed is buried under so much mess because it's the enemy's job to have you having an identity crisis, have you confused as to who you really are, and to have you all over the place but where you're supposed to be, everywhere but where you're supposed to be. 
Because if you're where you're supposed to be, you're going to bring forth much, 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 much fruit. And that's a problem for the enemy. If he don't want you to bring forth no kind of fruit, right? So that's the way that is. So don't fight it. If you're a believer and, and God is putting in your heart, you have a love for Christ and you know like you don't really, really feel comfortable out there in the streets doing what you've been doing and God is really calling you, you, you might as well go ahead and let God have his way in your life because you can fight it. You're going to come either the hard way or the easy way. And I hate when people have to go out and get all these testimonies just so that they can get saved. I had I don't had my share of testimonies. <laughs> Y'all ain't trying to go out and get no more crazy testimonies. Uh-uh. Help me, Lord. I don't want to get no more crazy testimonies. I, I think I got a cup full. And I'm going to let that be what I ride on the rest of my life. Because, y'all, I don't need to go out here and, and try um something just to... No. And they have to have God come rescue me out of some another pit. And no, 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 no. I know God is good. I know he's good. Let me go on into the next point, y'all. Let me go on because you see I, whew, I get excited. So let me see what this says. Don't fight it. Be happy and embrace who you are. Children of God may not always understand the depths of God, but they recognize God as daddy. That's that's what the Spirit of God gave me. He, um, he also told me, the Spirit of God told me that we have to get in our word. You have to get into your word. You have to seek to know God. And more and more, God will reveal himself to you. More and more, you will know him in a deeper way. It's just like a person. You will not really know a person after talking to them once or twice. You won't even know them after talking to them 10 times. You really get to know them after spending consistent time with them and talking to them on deeper levels, spending more uh, uh, intimate time with them. There's a lot of people you're not supposed to be getting to know in no deep kind of way. Some folks are supposed to be at the surface, but with God, you got to kind of put in that time, put in that energy and get to really, really, really press in to get to know him. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and, and the word of God is an awesome way for you to really get to know God. It's just like, oh, God, I want to get to know you. That's what you're saying inside of yourself. But you are not willing to listen to his word. Honey, men, women, whoever you are, if you really want to get to know me, Brittany Monique Allen, you're going to have to talk to me. You can't be like, you know what? I want to get to know you and be like, shut up. Don't ever talk. I just want to be in your presence. You know, come on. Anyway, so <laughs> I hope that made sense. And I'm sure it did. Um, hallelujah. So the last point, point three, is we need you. We need you. I'm talking, I speak on behalf of the men and women of God, the kingdom of God. I speak as an ambassador and I say we need you. Yes, we need you. We need you. No matter what your background was, what you coming out of or what you was into, we need you. We need the, the gays who have now crossed over to the Jesus Christ. Even if you still talk like you gay, we need you. Because you maybe it's still in your voice. I don't know. You know, you done got your voice lightened and stuff, but the Spirit of God done moved, and now you done got saved, and you still kind of looking like you in between sexes and stuff. I don't know why I'm going there, but I'm going there. Yeah, we need you. When, cause, cause God can change anybody. He can use if He can use a donkey, He can use anybody. So we need you, cause the Spirit of God. There are some trans transgender. There are some people in between sex changes right now. There are some people who are lesbians who know, who who know the Spirit of God is calling them. They no longer want to live that life. There's some guys who were living a gay lifestyle who the Spirit of God is calling them and they no longer want to live that life. And yes, we need you. We need you to stand up and be authentic and speak your story. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to get you so far out there that you feel like there is no way to come back home. If you have the Spirit of God in you, that means back home is back with the Spirit of God. I don't care how far out there you done went, how dark it done got on you. God, he wants to still use you. And you're going to feel that in your spirit, in the depths of who you are. Even if you're in the middle of shooting up some drugs right now, he wants to use you. And he is calling you. 
he's calling you don't ask how it's gonna he's gonna fix it and how he's gonna get you out just go just go i'm telling you abraham he had to go god said come on and let, he had to go and where he was going he didn't know how he he didn't know but you know what god is the guy who he is the way maker he is the one who makes a way out of no way so don't even worry about what the people are gonna say your whole circle might seem like it's about to collapse in on you because you no longer got nobody because you're the people you used to hang out with hardcore you can't hang out with them no more guess what if you stand up and you allow God to, to move, I'm telling you, he's going to move in a major way. And he's going to put the right people in your path. He's going to remove the wrong ones. And you you will be amazed with, with what God will do with you. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going to go all there. But if you used to be a prostitute, if you used to be a gangster, you was out here gangbanging, or however you guys say it nowadays, I don't know. But if that's what you come out of, Come on over. If the Spirit of God is calling you and you know in your heart that that ain't the life for you, that that is no longer what you even want to be a part of, let don't fight it. Do not fight it. Allow God to do the transformation and cause you to truly become the new creation the new creation people will not recognize you and people are going to want to talk about how you used to be and that's okay but you know what in christ behold all things are new all things are new i believe that's in colossians y'all um behold all things are new so i just i just wanted to leave you guys with that um we need you God is calling you. God is calling me. That's why he was like, you need to make a video right now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> but um, that's all I have for you guys. I pray that um, you all received a, 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 a strong word from the Lord um, and that it really spoke to you where you are. Um, I just want to give a shout out to all my queens, to all the women of God who um, who are serving God and who are waiting patiently on God and who are trusting God and who are um, just every single day um, becoming more wonderful in Christ Jesus. I just want to give you ladies a shout out because I'm right here with you guys, um, with you ladies, with you queens, with you women. And um, I'm embracing the crown that God has given me. He said we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a chosen people. We're a chosen people, you guys. So um, I'm way, 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 way over the time I anticipated being here. So let me close in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that the seeds that were planted through this video, that they were planted on good ground, God, and that they will truly, truly, truly take root in the hearts of your people and that the people um, will know their value, know their worth, and that they will allow, God, the seed of uh, of of who you created them to be before time even began before this earth was even created that they will allow that seed to just come forth god and that they will not fight you but they will allow you god to bring the best out of them that your kingdom will be advanced and that their lives will truly truly matter and mean something father lord cover us and keep us lord we thank you i thank you right now have your way in jesus name amen all right, guys. Love you. Um, God bless you.